All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let me hold on. Give me just a second. Cure this. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are playing a different game other than our wrestling games we usually play. Thank you for the one person who's already jumped in. Um, tonight we are going to be playing not not the new Walking Dead game that just came out, the one that's dog shit. Although we will play that at some point. Now we are playing the best Walking Dead game. Walking Dead. Season 1. Telltale. You know, the good Walking Dead game. We'll play... We'll play the other... The shit Walking Dead game... Eventually. Because I want to play that for the meme. Because it looks, it looks fantastic. I'm not spending 50 bucks on it, though. That sounds... Like a very bad financial decision. Okay. So this is actually the version that is on the definitive... Collection... Of Walking Dead. So graphic black is on default off. Sweet. Perfect. Okay. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and play. I've already beaten this twice on here because of course I have. So we're gonna start on the third slot. Um we're gonna do standard UI. We're gonna you're gonna drop sixty three points on the zombies, yes, yes I will. Alright, so if you haven't played this game, this, this game I just have to say this game is fucking good. If you've never played this, you're what the fuck are you doing with your life? And this game's been out for 11 years, and you can probably find it for a penny. But it's the best penny you're ever going to spend in your life. It's fantastic. Let's get started. We'll do episode one tonight, and then uh, we'll go from there. Stay tuned. We've got SWF season finale on Saturday night. 10, 15 p.m. Fucking tune in. It's going to be some good... Wrestling. And then we'll continue on with this series during the SWF off season and we'll play other dumb shit as well. Episode one, a new day. This does not have to do with Kofi Kingston and Xavier and Biggie. Okay. Here is the main protagonist. This is me. He is on his way to jail as he had just, uh... Okay, we'll, we'll let them explain, actually. We should collaborate. Yes, I agree. Well, I reckon you didn't do it, then. You know what they say about reckonings? I don't. But I reckon it's a lot like assuming. Yeah, it is a little too late like to be that. streaming, but it's midnight. I have nothing well, to do. A bunch of fellas down to this <sighs> and I don't work till 11.30 in the morning, so I might as well. About now I get the, I so basically, he's it. going to jail because he killed he uh, killed his uh, some dude in a fit of rage. Not for me. Cause guys in your killed him in a fit of rage because he, his wife was cheating on him with this guy. Use the right stick to look around. Rear view mirror. Just up here. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. You're for making then. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop. He in the picked 70s. up on that. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, huh? Oh, there's a cop going by. The whole family used to be at your folks drugs. They made him a person of cult. <laughs> Still there? Sure is. Good. Hey, I think it's wrong. What's up, Tyler? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention, and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a sixth year. When I say more, you're a murderer. You want to know how I see it? Sure. I agree. Sleeps for the week. 
Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. So basically any option you choose on that one. So I chose the bottom one. It doesn't, it doesn't say a word. Basically meaning that you could just be silent at some points and you could always choose. If you have to say, you just choose silence. Leah bought me a headset that'll be here. Fuck yeah, dude. Welcome back, sir. He wouldn't stop going on. Happy back, Sawyer. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where are you all sitting. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. That's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops and having exhausted all his options. He starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. Of course. I think he actually believed in himself. It's like half of Vienna. It goes to show. People up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing. Yo, watch out. There's literally a dude in the middle of the road. This other time. I just say, I just say thirsty out loud. <laughs> all right, let's see this shit. Hey, hey, officer, yeah, I, are you all right? I'm still got back. I here. make a dark joke. I don't know which dark joke to make. Those a lot, a lot of different ones you can make with that, with that body over there. Me at, me at 3 a.m. Fucking six, six hard monsters deep. Run away, don't help <laughs> Don't help him. That hurt. Okay, I gotta move. Give me a f if you don't f hold me laying on the ground like Peter Griffin. That's what I was thinking of. Shit, I was I was trying to think. I was like, who does that look like? Yeah, it does look like Peter Griffin. You're right. That's like Jason Kelsey at the bottom of the pile after the tush push. You'll like that one. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs on. He's got a gun. Did you take an arrow in the knee? Officer? Oh, God damn. What I always liked about this section when I played it was like you could just you could just spam the Y button here. And just officer? uh Officer? God damn. Officer? 
God damn. You just do this Officer? for like 10 minutes. God damn. Officer? God damn. Okay, I'm done. Let's go ahead and go up to him. Insert Peter Griffin and Payne sounds here. Yes. Watch out. <laughs> Officer, god damn <laughs> Shit. Shit. Oh. We're gonna break out of this. Pretty sure he's dead. Huh. Right, let's get out of these cuffs. Oh, he's breathing. Hey, Oh, oh my god! That is true, knowing our, knowing our police force. He, he's, he's back, he's, it's a, it's a Zam, it's a walker. Get away from me! Uh, which way is the gun again? Shit, I am the wrong way! I forgot it was this way. Shit. I forgot how to play this game when I played this game, like, I beat this game like eight times. Don't make me do this! Should have listened to Sawyer, I agree. Boom. Well, that's the second murder he's committed. Man. You can add to your Call of Duty kill count. Oh, hey, that's uh. Go get someone! There's been a shooting! There was a witness! Definitely going to shoot a shot. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, oh, that's a that's a good one. Didn't know I thought his eyes were good. Was that Kurt Cobain's color? Was that uh, Kurt Cobain's eyes too? <laughs> All right, so we got to get away from this walk. All right, climb, climb it, climb, climb. like half of Indiana. Inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Anybody home? I need a little help. Hello. There's something going on. Thank you for all joining. Just say stuff in the chat. This is so <laughs> weird. Stranger Things Come explanation. In. Yeah. Don't shoot, okay? Modern Amer, Modern America, be like. Ah. Hello. Me when I see I'm the bills an and, and exit the. Or one of them. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Oh no. That's better coloring than I could do. That's for sure. It's fake. Damn. 
Who the fuck just puts fake fruit on the table? Like that's such a such a tease. Jesus, I am not walking past that because I know if I do, I know damn well that he's gonna. Furniture overturned, blood everywhere. Uh, that no damn well is gonna fall. Jesus. Answering machine. Keeping? New messages. Message one left at five forty three p.m. Hey Sandra. There's a way to walk Diana. faster. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much now for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time. Man, that thing's got to weigh more than my current TV. Like, Message way more. Two, left at 1130 p.m. Message three, left at 1119 p.m. Message four, left at 1119 p.m. Oh my god, finally. Play some old GameCube games on that thing. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave it's literally the city. Trey's and house, yeah. With you back yeah. To Marietta. Right. I, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 651 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear So basically, the, I guess the husband got bit by a crazy, like one of the walkers. <laughs> Random Love fact you. I just learned. Since 1957, the Colts are 6 and 26 all time versus Love the Steelers. You. I did not know that. So basically, this girl's. Well, we don't know the girl's there yet. Oh, that's. I'm not dad. Kind of fucked up. Oh, there it is. Hello? You need to be quiet. Oh, okay, sure. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. Go get I'm three percent milk. You are not my No, I gotta <laughs> You gotta get the no, He had to go get the not. other ninety eight percent of milk. Death should also be added to his charges. Jesus. Where are your parents? Dead. They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. I remember playing this on my old, like, big ass. I used to have a huge, big like, CRT TV uh, in this room 10 years ago, and that's when I played this game for the first time. You couldn't see shit on it because it's one of those, like, big ass TVs where you can't see shit because it's such a dark TV. You have to turn the brightness all the way up. And it's wild. I just feel like I'm just Compared to when this came out in 2012. Well, they already worked good at the time, but like, you know, broke boys. Unite. Now you get a 4K TV for like nothing. That's Black Ops 2 zombie noise, yeah. Me after drinking that 4 Loco. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? I haven't had four loco in a while. Something else did. I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been... All by yourself. I don't get four loco anymore because yeah. that one dude at Case, that one dude at Casey's down the street, <laughs> it gives me a weird look every time I buy one. You know? Oh. <laughs> I don't know what happened. 
Yeah, he just gave me the weirdest look. I'm like, bro, just let me get fucked up one night, all right? What should we do now? Let's summer. Uh... So basically, uh, this choice has like minimal, like it has some effect on it, but like it really just goes the same. They just they just stand there for twenty minutes. No, it it introduces a different character, but the result is the same. So, like, if you go out right now, you meet this guy named, you meet, uh, these two guys, uh, one of them is a Sean, who's Herschel's kid in, in the actual Walking Dead, and then you meet another guy who's, like, his friend, but if you go out at night, you meet this police officer guy. Uh, so it's, like, two different characters, it's just, it's, it, but it leads to the same place kind of deal, so we're gonna go to... We're gonna go. To, we're just gonna do. We need to find help before it gets dark. We're just gonna do this one because this yeah, is the most popular choice. It's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? Should I, I stay or should I go? What if my parents come home? They won't. I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere Damn it, safe Bobby. It's close, okay? That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> that boy ain't right. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Does he look yeah. like Bobby Hill? I thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. Yeah, Nathan Sawyer's in this game. Like this. <laughs> How about you help us clear the way? And we'll is that, is that you, Alex? And you and, and you and Nathan Sawyer hanging out? It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... I love doing There's this answer guy. because it like freaks some everybody guy? out. Just yeah. some guy. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? Jesus. I Where's Box? He needs to get his ass in here. Your monster's coming up. You gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Get his Aussie ass in here and watching the shit. Come on, push. Push. Yeah, Clem. Clem's stronger than all of us. Holy shit. For just some guy? It seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. I can see it. Yeah. Yeah, just run straight into those. Don't even worry about your truck. Where's the Australia fuck at?
Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. They won't. It was nice to meet you both. No, you won't, because you'll disappear from the plot. Thank God you're okay. So this is Herschel from... Too. Who I'm pretty sure is actually in. I haven't seen the show in years. Pretty sure he's actually in the show and in the comics. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. We uh, need a place to stay. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter then. Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know... What a great right? way to put that. Yes. Great way to put okay, that, dude. Then. Well, Thanks, Sean. Looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, All right, yeah. later, Sawyer. It's not doing so good. Thanks for watching. Love you Might too, bud. You out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hurts hell. Like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel knows your name. I murdered How a guy. This happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed? Before the car accident. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. R R slash nice guys enters the chat. The <laughs> you and your daughter are welcome to rest there, and we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I wish Trey was here. Um, Trey could do like the perfect Clementine we, uh, voice. It's fucking awesome. Hey, you could do a great so one. Thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence oh, around the farm. Turn off the light. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious Ooh. shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how. There's Keith. Yet. What's up, dude? Welcome to the chat. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Yeah, I already yeah, said I'm okay, Sean. Come on, it's dude. To feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Yeah. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. Imagine sleeping out in the fucking barn. Yeah, so there's uh, the other people that won't It smells the like... I just dropped thirty-seven dollars on Fortnite. Where'd you get on manure. Fortnite? Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. When you say that, yeah, the horse plops, just like box playing Fortnite. I miss my mom and dad. I go miss them for a lot longer. How far is Sorry, Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Change Martin Ninja Tur Oh, that's right. That just came out, didn't it? Sweet. 
baby. <laughs> He's having non flashbacks. <laughs> He's having flashbacks to when he killed that guy because it was a bit of rage because he hey, was a. Uh... Get up. Oh, let's go. Let's go back to this. <sighs> There's Kenny. Oh, itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy <laughs> scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of tents! Oh, trap. God, it's this <laughs> fucking kid. Oh, no. Going? We won't hear the end of it. We're gonna have a fun time with this kid. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it Dad! with enthusiasm. Is that fucking... The word is, is you were on your way to make it. Right there? My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple was of heads together if he has to. Yeah, it was a glitch. Just saw it on the delay. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? They got... Cool. Brown eyes must be full of crap. Yeah. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. We'll go ahead and talk to You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Hey yeah. there, girls. So uh what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? It's basically when you go to this kind of part, you like kind of just have to go around, Except talk to everybody, and like make sure everybody's good, the, build yeah. your relationships with the people, and everything like that. We used to teach up at the university. Basically, everything you do, everything you say, and this pretty much has like some sort of effect. Well, not everything, but most of the things. To normal, it can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh... How is that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Okay. Learn Clementine as a first grader. I right, know, we gotta go talk to Kenny. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. 
On well, the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know, see ya. You'll, you'll figure out, like, Kenny's character. Wait, can you... Oh, it's RB. So... Okay, RB is moving faster. Alright, I figured it out. It's been a while since I played this. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! That... <laughs> Hey, Lee. <laughs> Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Jesus. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Bast a poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family. Well, oh, forget that in about ten minutes. Inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Seems like a nice dude. Too bad I uh, know what's going to happen. Like... Five seconds. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan yeah. having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece Ruff. of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. So Duck accidentally turns on the thing and runs over Sean's leg. 
even and now the zombie, like now like the walkers come up. This will play until like later on. He's dead! Oh shit! Right at the important part. Right at the important part. But, uh, start having a bad bitrate. Probably the internet. Just give it a minute, it'll be fine. It's been fluttering. You thought wrong. And now? Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. So if we would have helped um, Sean there, basically Sean puts you over. Um, it's like, hey, he tried to help me, but then Kenny kind of like a little iffy about you after that because he didn't try to help his kid. It's weird. Well. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. So we're in Macon now. The problem with this definitive version is that sometimes it gets real glitchy. But this is the version I own. If we need to, we could switch it to the uh, other version that's on Game Pass. Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Uh, excuse me. Alright, so a bunch of walkers coming up. Oh, it's a trap. Oh no, duck! Oh no, I'm so sad. Oh, damn it. Oh, so there's one. Somebody's saving us. I'm stalking like I haven't played this game like we can't take risks like this and we can't just let people die either when i say that door stays shut no matter what i fucking mean it we don't know who these people are they could be dangerous worse they could have let them right to us where the hell is your humanity we have kids with us i see one little girl what is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them next. So this just so happens to be Lee's God parents' it, old Lily. pharmacy. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Oh, yeah! Shit. Here we go, we got good connection now. We're good bitten. now. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. Oh. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already hope he's seen bit. this Fuck happen. Duck. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? 
Dad. It's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle this. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Everyone, chill the fuck out. This guy's such Nobody's a dick. Doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. I fucking hate this talking? guy. He's such He's an bitten. asshole. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Dick. Just worry about Duck. Lee. Yeah? There's someone Lee. in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. Fuck She'll them kids. The Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No. You don't touch that boy. Don't yeah, I'll touch, touch him. Anybody. Bucker. That little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on. You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here. <laughs> oh, there's a, there's a walker. <laughs> fuck you, Lily. All right, get up. There we go. Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Bash him with the fucking butt. Ka Chow. Yeah, that was good shit. Good timing. Good shot. You okay? Just great, thanks. There's Glenn, he's from the comics and the uh It's me, it's me, it's the double G. Yeah. They're gonna get in, shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid! That was Oh, oh. That's yeah. Alex complaining about the tush push. <laughs> What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it, and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walk. There's the best to character the in all of Walking Dead history, Glenn. Cool. Clinton Love Tons that guy, down. especially in, like, Check the actual hood, series. As soon as you can. And you, what's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you... You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot. And I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. 
Now get him those pills. I, I, I still hate Larry. He's such a dickhole. He's a fucking bitch. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter. Carly's great. Especially one that's three she's, days she's out awesome from her character. last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. There are no batteries in No batteries in it. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Jesus, Carly. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. So this, yeah, like I said earlier, this is Lee's family's uh, drugstore. No, I'm they sorry, just so happen to come upon it. By the living dead cards. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. So basically, we just gotta kind of go around and find some stuff and do some different things. And, uh, take the energy bar. See if there's any other things we can get. Energy bar. <laughs> that guy, me over here, what he just did, that's me as a Patriots fan this season. Jesus, this season's been rough. But that's all right. As a uh, fucking box would say. Take an energy, another energy bar. So we have four energy bars we can hand out to people. So let's go ahead and talk to Clem for a second. Hey there. See, she's doing okay. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so, uh... Being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Yep. Sit tight. Okay. We're gonna give her one of the energy bars. Thank you. Of course. You took care of Cle took took care of Clementine. Took care of Clementine. I don't know how to talk today, bro. I think it's almost Friday. Get the off this weekend. We're doing happier than ever. The pay-per-view this Saturday How's on Twitch. I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, all right? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. 
You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. I mean, we had to, because he was being a no, fucking just dickhole. mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. So that's basically are you his okay? parents are dead, pretty much. Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. No shit. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that... Yeah? Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with the sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna Thanks, get back Willie, to you even though I just called you a bitch like a minute ago. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and hand. Just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Look, Haley, really gave that old man hell. Yeah, we got pushed, you know. You don't have to tell me. I was ready no one, to tear the man's head off. Anyway, no one fucks me, with us. Cat and I appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they did. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. Were you saying, Lee, she spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Okay? We killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Oh. Try to get some rest, hon. How can it's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. If 
Fuck, I mean, fuck you, duck, but... I've already been over here. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead gods. If on the here, Carly. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, uh, thanks. Want. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Hey, Connie. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. We just gotta switch the batteries out on the on the room on this. Uh, excuse me. Ka Chow. You fixed it. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, uh my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved one... God bless you all. Oh, God. Hey there. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? No. no. Fuck you. Alright. Actually, no, 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 we'll do it. We'll, we'll we go ahead. Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Jesus. Good God. I can tell him all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. Bad enough ammo would do it. Jesus. Alright, uh. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. It's a combination lock. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Look at the one trapped over there. Better him than us, huh? He's one of he's one of Lee's oh, family shit. members. What? Do you know that guy? Kind of he has a familiar face. Ah. You're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. 
If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Okay. So basically... How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. What's everyone like in there? Oh, well, Carly's pretty nice, you know. <laughs> yeah. Lily doesn't take any crap. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. And her dad. Yeah, that guy. He's kind of a dick. Pardon my French. What's everyone like in there? Oh, oh I accidentally pressed it again. Carly's pretty nice, you know. <laughs> yeah. Lily doesn't take any crap. I accidentally pressed it again. Damn it. Blonde watch, things like that. And her dad. Yeah, that guy. He's kind of a dick. Pardon my French. Yeah. Let's head back inside. Okay. Me watching Mac Jones throw a pass. All right, let's go ahead and go in here. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of. And look, don't make me wrong on this. Plant. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. It's 
slide into her DMs, bruh. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not going to go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm going to try. Good. Good. I'm going to keep looking around. Okay. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay. Here we go. For whatever reason, this version, like this, this is so. This isn't the actual Do you have kids? individual Walking Dead game by itself. This is like the you one that has all of the games in one. Uh. What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor. Uh, there's some glitches in this. That was a good job. Especially in the fourth, they're What's more prominent job? in the fourth I game though. Teach history and write where I found the most like glitches. Like, um, social studies? Yeah. From what I remember, there aren't that many in this. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Well, they're dead but now. He's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Yeah. I am. Uh, I. I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. She's infected! Gotta take out the brain. I'm just kidding. Clementine's actually the good kid. Can't do that to Clem. Okay, let's go ahead and get the first aid kit. Bitch. Okay. One seventeen a.m. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Just meow, Scarlet. Hey. Lee? Hey there. Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? How's your finger? It's okay. 
Thanks for fixing it. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. into the drugstore with me. Okay. Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. Oh, what's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped out at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Let's go ahead and hand them an energy bar. Here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. How's your finger, Cleo? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Let me know if you need anything. I'm tired of okay. shit. Uh, it's 122. We're gonna try to... There isn't too much longer left of this. So I think we're going to go until the end of the episode. Because yeah. there isn't a whole lot more left. Yeah. Let's go. Comment in the chat, you tired fucks. I'm kidding. Alright, uh... No, get down! Give me a follow to anyone who's not followed in here, and we will buy Walking Dead Destinies and play that dog shit that? game after we're done playing this one. Also, tune in to SWF this Saturday evening at 10.15 p.m. right after AEW Collision's over. We got some great actions, the SWF season finale. Got some great wrestling for you. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen. 
I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Get close. It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. I am not moving. I think it's moving. So, yeah, it's. Get used to the side of this motor in, by the way. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Grab that pillow. Good luck smothering them. Or is there some good? Oh, you're going to bed. Good night, mate. Wish Box was talking in here. That'd be awesome. If only he wasn't a Aussie bitch. Screwdriver. Ow. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Damn it, we can't use a pillow to fucking fuck with the car. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. It's like that scene in Talladega Nights, but without that the was gun. Sick. <laughs> Alright. So let's we got there's something in here that we gotta get, I think. Yeah, right here. Spark plug. It's a spark plug. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. That'd come in handy. So we're gonna kill that guy with this. Ah. Uh, Awesome. <laughs> so now we have to use the spark plug to get into this. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. this that could scramble a brain pretty good that's exactly what I was thinking so we gotta go back over here kill this guy there might be a couple others we gotta get to probably sh I don't know how to get that person Repetitive shit in this. So we gotta get that guy. Three, five, four, three, two, one. Please, closing in. What the fuck? I pressed the 
damn it, I fucked up. Damn it. I thought I'd get through this without dying. I pressed the button a little bit too late. Shit. That's all raw, my... There we go, that's all right. No one try it. Boom. This. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. I pressed the wrong button, shit. There we go. Oh, God. Alright, let's get this shit open, my. If only Box was in here. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. Oh, God. I... I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. <laughs> It's not Christian. <laughs> what a <Please>. dick. <laughs> Just leave me. Please go. God damn it, Glenn. That's all you care about? Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me? I can just... You know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. no. Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay, fine. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. I'm here with you. You're a good man. Oof. 
probably not the appropriate response to that, but yeah, F in the chat to her. Press F to pay respects. Hey, yeah, go. we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out of here. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. All right, I think we've got pretty much everything we need. Going forward, uh, let's go ahead and go to Doug again. We got that picture. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Think you can do anything with this? know what I could do. What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. There we go. Well fucking done, Doc. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Alright, so we're gonna have to do is see that brick there. Brick. Watch this, this is funny. Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. I can't reach that brick. Open the damn door, Lee, you fuckhead. So if you don't know, we're actually we're looking for the pills for that guy who had a heart attack. So we are trying to get the first door open. That guy's got the keys. So this is gonna distract all the walkers. We gotta walk over to that pharmacy worker who ends up being Lee's brother, I think. And then uh, we'll get it from him. And then we'll go in there, we'll open up the pharmacy and get the pills for him. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to Mom and Dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. Soon, that's what happens. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you to take care of them, that helped.
God damn. I think he's good now. There we go. Holy crap! Run! Nice noise, dog. Dipshit. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Great, the alarm. Crack at a 7 Eleven or the and they realize you have a dollar. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dealing, Galleon. I need to take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Plan. When you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Alright, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. All right. We don't make it through this. You should know that. I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. <laughs> Long-term booking, that's the, that's the dad's cane. So this is like a really, really major choice. You have to either choose to save. This is the first choice that has like repercussions for the entire game. Either save Doug or Carly. Honestly. All Doug has done is reprogram a remote. So we're saving Carly. Sorry, Doug. Sorry, Doug. Go, 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 go! Oh, no. fuck this guy! 
Fuck that motherfucker. We just saved your fucking life, you piece of shit. Fuck you, Larry. You piece of motherfucking shit. Fuck that guy. Oh, thank God we got Kenny right there. Thank you so much, Kenny. Thanks, Kenny. I love you, buddy. Let's get out of here. Yeah. So we're back at that motel that we were at earlier. We're basically just gonna try to make this home for a while. Why well, is that girl that died earlier? That's so sad. Oh man, Clementine, it was so awful. Well, now Doug's, or not the Doug, a uh, duck is talking. Can duck shut the? I can hear duck from all the way in here. Hey, go ahead. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we dumped a few days ago, could have gone either way. I got to take my chances. Can you just look over there? I'm not sure if that's a glitch or you just hear everybody talking. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. If they go come upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Bye, Glenn. See you in the comics in the, in the show later. Alright, so let's go talk to some people. You better check yourself hey, before you wreck. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, I'm not Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, kid. You got it. Did you check the glove off? I swear I saw it. Okay, so Cash is not going to talk to us. For, so. Oh, wait, I have to talk to Carly. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know, it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I loved him. Oh, sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. Because you're... I thought you needed that help. Ah, that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It was just some idea. I don't know why. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Did you check the glove box? 
Bye, Carly. They're repeating like the same lines over and over, like the background people. Oh, that's fucked. I hate this guy. You know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Doctor, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. Yeah, fuck you, Doc. I'm sorry. There's a not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be Why don't we, like, check with them? Sad. I know it doesn't make any sense. Grab oh, remember that detail for later. Mom and Dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. What do you want? I hate this guy. Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you Somebody knows that I'm a murderer. Something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. Thanks, Lily. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Lol, all the lights gone. Fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! You fuck with us! There's too many of them! You will find out what happens on the next episode of The Walking Dead. I told you boys, this game is fantastic. We'll, th we'll have a part two of this video pretty soon. Alright, so, 54% of us were honest to Herschel. 52% of us chose to save Duck. Oh, I accidentally skipped it. Fuck! Uh, 54, subscribe to Kenny. We gave that girl the gun. I think we we're in the minority on that. Can I skip this? I don't think I can. And then, I, I know the stuff is pretty even now compared to what it was back in the day, but I remember a lot more people chose Carly back in the day. Because, you know, it's, it's, it's the 
girl. I think we're all horny fucks. Uh, that episode's amazing. Uh, we'll play the other episodes sooner or later. Uh, probably in the next one. Uh, tune in to SWF this Saturday, 10.15 p.m. Be right after AEW Collision's over. Uh, it's a lat season finale of SWF, and then we're going to focus solely on uh, games like this and other stuff. We're going to get The Walking Dead Destiny soon. We're going to get a bunch of other games soon to play on the channel. And uh, this has been a fun stream so far. Uh, I just wish I could skip this cutscene. Or not cutscene. I wish I could skip these credits. I don't know if it saves my status or, or it saves my stuff or not. If I go to the main menu, that's why I'm waiting through this. Uh, I don't want. I don't want to lose my progress. It's sad that Telltale's not a. Th well, Telltale's kind of a thing now. It's like a different company that has the same name. But then Walking Dead IP is owned, like, the this particular IP for this series is owned by Skybound. Which, who was, like, a helper, like, they, they were a partial developer of this game back in the day. And then they ended up taking over development and publishing once uh, Telltale went under. Alright, so, next time we're on this we will play episode two starved for help and i hope you all enjoyed this has been a fun stream good night everyone uh i will probably upload this to youtube within the next couple of days if you want to go back and watch it you can go back and watch it on demand on twitch on here or you can go over to my youtube channel ptrx34 or patrick scroggins as it's called i believe now on there um, you can go onto that YouTube channel and you'll see it on there. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Tune in on Saturday for SWF. Good night, everyone.